Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. So today I'm in the Frank Knox, and this was a live gameplay, but the recording software decided to not record my voice. Um, I have to check it because, you know, usually I just would try it again, but this battle was actually really cool, and um, the chat was also really nice, and I wanted to share this with you. So first we make the crosshair red. It's actually... If you look at um, the tank settings, it's ca it's called crosshair lightning. AG shells are out, and first salvo <laughs> detonates me a set 46. <laughs> that is so based, because that is, I think, the only German destroyer that actually has some armor plating that shows up in the armor view, and we HE detonated it. Now, while the HE changes and HE buffs effectively have profited the older ships in the game and some really as well, for the Americans it doesn't make the greatest of difference. They are still really strong, really good, heavy, high yield shells, high rate of fire, lots of ammunition, good shell selection radar here on this 4.7 destroyer which is also a premium it doesn't have the highest civil line modifier but because you just kill so much and win so many games with it uh, it more than makes up for it i mean it's only 5.85 versus 60 which is the highest civil line modifier before a uh, times two and then the premium account bonus and then any boosters you happen to activate it's a really good grinding machine and to be honest i prefer it over the moffat because the moffat has the higher battle rating and here you have better turret rotation angles turret rotation speed um and the same forward facing firepower so we are punishing here a little bit uh, the empton um, we are raining uh, death and destruction from above. Now, um, I made a video a couple of weeks ago when the HE changes went through and I had my first experience and I made it in the uh, Lübeck, a video about it, where I said it was good and a lot of people were saying, yeah, it's, it's significantly outperforming. And indeed it was too strong, but there was also the effect of the diving shells. And that's one of those mistakes that just gets fixed and reappears gets fixed and reappears so anyway what i try to do is to fulfill my personal tasks i have a medium task where i should kill somebody over five kilometers and from five kilometers in a destroyer when i shoot at another destroyer cruiser not quite sure how the task really goes but i just get it done on a regular basis and I also need to cap a point, be in it, and then kill some players. Let's find out if I actually fulfill this. So I can no longer shoot the enemy. I concentrate on something else, try to shoot it, and then get the kill from five kilometers or further, which is nice. I switch to this guy, and I'm not so sure if I should switch to HE here or stick with the SAP. I decide to switch to the HE and I do a lot of damage, but just before I can finish him off, he hides behind the island. What a coward, must be a bot. And I'm about to enter the cap and you know, this Japanese port is a really, really strong brawler map. Um, I really like it for that reason. It's not so good if you're in a cruiser or Recently, it even appears in battleship rotation, which it shouldn't. And then this guy accelerates again from be behind the island, and I immediately focus him. I suspect it's a player, and thanks to the name and the low SL and RP income in particular, yeah, it was a bot. Now, today I also wanted to talk about the battle rating changes. Wanted to wanted to make a separate video about it but figure out you know it's a joke like uh, you have significantly more vehicles for tanks and planes that get changed and i can't really tell you anything about them but there happen to be just a handful of um changes for naval forces combined of blue water and coastal fleets around about 10 vessels 
and uh, two of them were the Admiral Hipper class heavy cruisers and they have gone down again from 6.0 to 5.7 where they were before the previous change. So I'm firing here at this Stuka and because I'm standing still the lead of the lead indicator is really easy and we hit him with the first shell basically which is based. There is also now a patrol bolt and I don't wait for the measuring range indicator to appear. I am really confident to get him here with this shot and yes, but that again was a bot. Now I'm sitting here and I am in the cap that I just capped and now I need to kill some dudes but nobody spawning apparently. Nobody from the PT boat spawn, nobody from the destroyer spawn, uh, that's just so typical. So. I decide to reverse a bit to get a better firing angle for the broadside and then pick a target. There is a destroyer apparently, at least it looks that on the hit camera, which is now permanent, which uh, appears directly if you target somebody. And overall I think that's a good change as well. And obviously um, I think to myself I need to check if somebody is coming and while I get shot from the distance I take the chance to deal with this guy because that looks like a player vehicle. You know at some point you notice who's your bot and who's your player. I spread here the joy with the torpedoes because I think you know that's a narrow gap they have to get through this and there's also a second one I just saw the smoke trail and the HE goes to work. 5 inch 38 doing a readout of 2.8 seconds and I switch to sap detonating the ammo <laughs> that's so based that's uh, already five kills that's a t22 and I think that's a leopard if I'm not mistaken and I also go to work on him I should switch to HE because he's so low in the water and because I need to be stationary um, I was a bit greedy in getting this kill but it was absolutely mandatory and I didn't watch the water carefully enough and was focusing on the guy that was shooting me all the time and he's coming towards me I think so I shoot HE he's bowing eventually I will get him but um, there is a funny perk in War Thunder Naval Forces in the crew segment that warns you of torpedoes when they're 500 meters away. It's fully skilled, yet it's more like 5 meters. And yeah, that's a bad thing. <laughs> and that was indeed the T-22 who dropped the torpedoes, which I didn't notice. Um, apparently because either the weather is so hazy or I was just tunnel visioning. Or probably both. So again, if we observe uh, chat, uh, if it reappears, you can see that some, it, it's really nice to chat in naval forces. Um, if you have nothing to do, um, you can chat, but also if you're just reloading, if you are dropping the torpedoes, you have all the time in the world. It's a bit less stressful compared to planes or tanks. Um, because sound is not as important in naval forces as for example in tanks and situation awareness is important but it's much more predictable i'd say um than if you go for planes so maybe it's a bit low skill um some might argue and if you think so i'm, I'm fine with this you know because funnily enough i still have some fun in it and to all the other three or four naval forces players out there that I just met in this battle, um, big shout out to you. It was an honor to play with you guys. Um, we're still not done yet here in this battle. And in, in a bit of a rarity, I have chosen a backup. Um, despite those tasks not needing the battle to be uh, finished for those spe specific tasks, I decided to, you know, that battle was so nice, um, the guys were really cool in chat, um, stay in there, they seem to be excited to meet me, because I am one of three YouTubers that cover their forces, so 
Again, shout out to you guys. And I tried to get this guy. Um, he's not the only one shooting me, by the way. But that HE does now terrible damage. And HE should splash open gun mounts and should, you know, do the damage that it does. Again, I think that um, when I did the first video, I was right with my assessment that the damage overall was too big, but I was not sure what to think about it, and it's definitely an improvement. And um, one thing that I didn't mention was when Gaijin actually uh, came out with the news that there were the diving shells again. Talking about diving shells, those shells dive deep into my ship and do terrible damage from this destroyer and I really cannot tell you which one it is it might be a Soviet destroyer I have no idea that hazy weather is really well done to be honest and also it's not that the waves are insanely high where it just almost rounds your ship while then lifting it into the air which is a terrible thing to happen to one if you get shot by a light cruiser and all of a sudden those you know six inch shells just then go under your armored belt and indeed it was the moskva nice so the game is about to end and um, i survive with the second spawn terror of the sea i give the salute to the enemy team and my team and we won so there it is a live gameplay with a <laughs> post battle recording and despite having no rp booster and no task i actually made 278,000 civil lines uh, with a premium account and a victory and 10,000 rp because i have nothing to research it might be higher and you know i like to show off those results just an orientation for myself and for you guys 10 kills, some of them were bots, one plane, which was based, first shot of the game, actually detonated a Z-46, that was a nice battle, and I thoroughly enjoyed also my team, because even though I did a lot of damage and killed a lot of guys, the second in our team also did quite the job, the enemy team was not pure bots, um, I saw some gameplay, but I was just more used to the brawling map and just had the better situation awareness a bit of experience good ammo selection and yet i was too stupid to avoid those obvious torpedoes and that's it for me today <coughs> that's it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more for you it's just a couple of clicks for me it means the world and let me know in the comment section what you think about this type of chatting this type of gameplay and narration and as usual we will see each other on the battlefields in the skies and on the waves of war thunder mm -hmm.